Hello, Internets. Dan here, MarginallyClever.com, coming at you with all kinds of robot goodness. Today is an update on Delta Robots and Hog Drives and Where's My Kit. You see, now I am I'm printing out an entire set of three arms for, uh, for one of the Delta Robots. This is a brand new design, which, uh, which had to be done. Mother, and necessity is the mother of invention. I built the first model with parts that were readily available in an RC toy store. For the last month, I've been trying to source a part from China, and I haven't been able to get them in bulk. It's not worth trying to get them two and three at a time when I need 80 and 90 and 200 at a time. I've redesigned my kits now so they don't need this part. I can, in fact, make the part on the 3D printer, which is what it's doing right now. I hope this solves the problem and means that all the kits can start moving out a lot faster now. Let's take a look at what the changes mean for you who've already paid for a kit or who are thinking about getting a kit. Here's a whole bunch of kits that are waiting to go out. Here's me working on stuff. Here is the Delta robot. You see, I've just finished assembling it and running some tests on it. Now, this requires a few more pieces than before. These are the new ball joints that I'm using. Here are one of the few old joints that I still have in stock that I just removed. They work better and they, they make this a much more rigid. This cardboard also helps hold the motor steady and the two together mean that the repeatable accuracy is probably about two millimeters. This piece on top and this piece underneath are both both going to be cut laser cut from a piece of birch and they'll be about as thick as this cardboard here. Some zip ties will go through these holes and over here to hold the whole assembly together whether it's face up or face down. You'll, uh, you'll have just an easy a time putting it together. It won't cost one cent extra. In fact, it's easier for me to print it because, and there'll be fewer errors in printing, which reduces the total time. Now, in the past, I believed that I could list any number of parts that I wanted and manufacture them after they were paid for. This has proven to be a fantastic disaster. This is not the way I should run my business. I learned my lesson and I thank you for your patience and understanding. I am now only listing kits that are available right now in the store, ready to ship, same day. It's a great relief to have that off my, my conscience. I really want to make you happy. I want to be happy making the kits. We want to be happy together. If you have any ideas about how I could be doing this better, please let me know. I want to grow entrepreneurial spirit in Vancouver, in BC, and among makers. I'm also looking to uh, scale up my production, to get manufacturing going. I'm on Facebook at Marginally Clever. I'm on Twitter. Uh, I'm on uh, my own website with a forum and a blog. Let's get in touch. My name is Dan. This has been MarginallyClever.com. Thank you so much for watching.